Hello, I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and today I'm going to spend some time discussing autoimmune disease with you. Do you have an autoimmune disease such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, lupus, scleroderma, Sjogren's disease, type 1 diabetes, and on and on? Do you have chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, or a whole list of symptoms that span the gamut of seemingly unrelated systems? that none of your medical doctors have an answer for? Well, if you do, then the autoimmune disease care that we provide in this office is going to take you to levels that you've never reached. Mainstream medicine is very poor at handling autoimmune disease. They try and throw drugs at autoimmune disease, but the problem with that is that autoimmunity is so widespread and systemic that there isn't a drug that can target one singular pathway and knock out everything because there isn't one pathway. Autoimmune disease has multifactorial contributions and there are many triggers that can set it off. It may have been an initial trigger that set you off, but once you set off that snowball starts rolling and you become more sensitive to more foods or more sensitive to environmental toxins or your genetic susceptibilities are more expressed. Uh, stress can knock you back, immune suppression can knock you back, so there are a lot of factors that determine your autoimmune disease causation and then the flare-ups and then whether or not your one autoimmune disease becomes three, four, or five down the road. And w what determines if one becomes multiple is the way that you deal with the one while you have it. If you have one and you continue to live in a way that exposes you to triggers and continually beat your body down, then that one will become five or you know multiple down the road. So in order to effectively deal with autoimmune disease, we have to understand the underlying mechanism of why it's happening. And this is another reason why mainstream medicine uh, is not very good at it, because they're poor at dealing with the immune system, because they have one tool, which is a medication. All right, so we deal with autoimmune disease in our office with zero medications and I have experience with patients with from things such as Crohn's and ulcerative colitis and Hashimoto's and lupus um, to, to things as widespread immunosuppressant things such as HIV which doesn't necessarily qualify as an autoimmune disease but immune suppression and immune system dysfunction is involved in that mechanism. So when you have an autoimmune disease we must address the immune system and the immune system can be broken down into simple terms today to help you understand. This isn't an all-inclusive physiology lesson, but this is a way to explain this in a simple way that you'll understand and get you on the right path. So we can take the immune system and we can divide it up into two halves, Th1 and Th2. And these represent two halves of your immune system. The Th1 half is the inflammation side, which is controlled by cell mediated immunity, and the Th2 side is the side of your immune system that creates antibodies. So the Th2 side is creating antibodies so that when you're exposed to something, it creates memory cells and antibodies that remember that. So you get chicken pox once, if you're ever exposed to it again, the body says, hey, I remember that, and knocks it right out and you don't even know you were infected. So in a healthy person, this is in balance, okay? Th1 and Th2 are in balance, like if they were on a seesaw or a teeter-totter. Now, there's one other form of cell that we want to talk about called T-regulatory cells. And the T-regulatory cells are kind of like the conductor in an orchestra. If your immune system is an orchestra, orchestra then the Th1 cells we could say would be the woodwinds, and the Th2 cells would be the strings. And the T regulatory cells are down in the pit telling Th1 when to play, Th2 when to play, and coordinating the whole thing. So in a healthy patient that doesn't have autoimmune disease, the conductor is doing its job and this, the orchestra is playing at the perfect time, at the perfect volume, for the perfect intensity. Okay? Now in autoimmune disease, dysfunction happens. And dysfunction could mean that Th1 goes up and Th2 goes down, or vice versa. It presents differently in different patients, and this is where the complexity comes in that we won't address today. But ultimately, 
the way that this happens, the way that the orchestra kind of runs the asylum is when the, the T-Rags or when the conductor falls off his stool. So essentially what happens is he loses control of his orchestra and these guys go crazy because they think they need to play now and they think they need to play now so then it sounds like chaos. So the best strategy at dealing with your autoimmune disease from a fundamental beginning level is to get the conductor back on his stool so that he can take these guys and organize them and get back playing music that you can understand. So we want to address the T-Reg cells and go from there. This is something I do routinely in my office with autoimmune patients on a daily basis in a non-drug way. If you are interested in finding the answer on how to deal with your autoimmune disease with, with or without medications that you may be taking with another practitioner, then this is the place for you. And you should give us a call, 704-895-2240. Start your path back to life at Optimal today.